Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Um, so obviously this is a little bit different to what we have been doing. If you have been watching us, we have been doing our lockdown series. So it's just us living life basically. Yep. Um, but today we are going to be doing baking. Um, so we have mentioned in what, like the last episode I think that we were going to do some baking and we're trying to uh, we're going to try and bake a Disney favourite. Um, so I guess I might as well just show you what we're doing. And there it is. That looks so good. <laughs> so we're going to be trying to make Gaston Gaston's Gaston Gaston. Hello, Gaston. Gaston's Tavern cinnamon rolls. Now, I don't know about you guys, but we love cinnamon. Um, I love all things sweet, and it's just full of sugar, cinnamon, and sweetness. So it's the just perfect for us. Of ingredients we have had to buy for this, I'm bankrupt. I'm not joking. A lot. I mean, I'm I'll show you in a minute. That's like even everything. But yeah, so we've we have had to get a lot of ingredients for this, but it should be worth it. And we've seen good reviews from it so far from other people that have made it. So without further ado, let's get into it. So these are all the ingredients. Mad. Um, obviously, it doesn't all just go together. Like it's for separate things. Like you've got like the cream cheese, like frosting these yeah, stuff. The cinnamon roll dough, the filling, the cream cheese frosting, and the butterscotch topping. I'm glad it doesn't tell you how many calories on there because we're gonna I get don't... that you beat us. We're gonna be big. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, literally got flour, egg, sugar, dried yeast, icing sugar, light brown sugar, vanilla, cinnamon, uh, salt. Uh, did I say eggs? If not eggs, a plastic spoon, uh, <laughs> butter, uh, cream cheese. Went with Philadelphia because it was Philadelphia. on offer. Philadelphia. That's how you say it, isn't it? Philadelphia. Philadelphia. You said Philadelphia. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Goodness me. Uh, oh, I just elbowed me on the head, sorry. Uh, whipping cream and milk. And that's about it. Um, obviously, it's really boring to see us measure everything out. So we're just going to do that quickly now. And then we'll continue from there. But we will be obviously telling you the amounts. And the um, recipe for if you want to try it, it's going to be down below. It's from so, Inside the Magic. It one is. of my faves. Right, so this is everything measured out for the dough. Um, so we've got six and a half cups of flour. Um, we can only get gluten free flour, so that could go really wrong, but we did look it up and they kind of said it might work, might not. Um, two packets of dried yeast, tablespoon of salt, half a cup of sugar, two eggs, there's two large eggs, but I mean they're all pretty much the same size, half a cup of butter, we've got a quarter cup of butter, Ree's got over there, that we've got to melt, mm -hmm. uh, half a cup of water, and how much milk was it? One and a half cups. One and a half cups of milk. Um, so that's everything you need for like the dough, uh, which is obviously the first step. Um, and so we've got to melt the half cup of butter with the milk. Okay, so once the butter is melted, remove from heat and allow to cool. We're doing it in the microwave because it's quicker. Don't know. If, I mean, that shouldn't make a difference. Then grab your mixer and add one, two and a half cups of the flour, yeast, sugar, and salt and then mix that. Um, obviously all our flour is together, but we've got like the little like measuring cup things that we're just gonna like scoop it out basically. And then we've got our trusty mixer over there. So now it's melted, we've got to let that sit for a minute. Yeah, so you need the milk. They need to go together. So <laughs> I told Reed to put the milk and the butter together as in like, they had to pour them in together. <laughs> and she poured them into the bowl for the mixer. <laughs> Not what you meant. Oh, it's a good start from us. So into the mixer, you got this right? <laughs> yeah. Two and a half cups of the flour. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then we just need to put the yeast, sugar, and salt with it. Yeast. You got two packets of yeast. Uh, they're seven gram packets. Um, both those are to be used in like the cake. We got a teaspoon of salt. Which pull that straight in. Um. Is it all the sugar? Yeah. Yeah. And then it's half a cup of sugar. Looks like sand. Nasty stuff. There we go, half a cup of sugar. We've got the yeast, sugar, salt, and the flour. Yeah, and now we need to mix that. Um, and you're sure that the, bit, the butter and the milk don't need to be in it? I, double check. You d double check the screen, I don't know. I really want this to work, because yeah. they look so nice. Yeah? Right, we're going to give this a mix, and then we will be back. So our next step was to, um, to the mixer is to add the milk and butter mixture as well as the eggs. 
Um, where we put it in the other bowl, we've had to use the smaller bowl. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put the eggs and the milk and that already in here, and we're just gonna like, add this into that. So it should just work just the same, isn't it? So that's literally all of it added in now. Um, and it says on there that we had to add the water and eggs, which we've done, and the buttermilk mixture, which we've also done. Um, then we've got to give that a good mix, and then after that it says, let's begin making the dough. Add the remaining flour half a cup at a time. When the dough starts to form a ball, it's ready. So, <laughs> what has happened? We had a bit of a nightmare. Surprise, surprise. But, look at that, slowly fixing it. Slowly it fixing it. Didn't make a dough whatsoever. We had to get Alex to go down the shop and buy another bo a box, another bag of flour. It's all sticky. It's still really sticky, but it's not as bad. Trust that me. It's all right now, but I need to get the rest out. Yeah. So all my fingers were like were still a bit glupified. So Legit oh, you word. just dropped some on the floor. That's Beep. okay. So Alex is going to try and fix the dough. And then it needs to be left in the bowl to rise for 10 minutes. Um, and then we've got to start making the sauces and the little bits to go in the middle. All right, we've finally managed to make the dough. Um, all it was was we just needed a bit more flour and we had only had like the one packet, which we like, look, because obviously this was measured in cups. So we like oh, went online guess. and converted it and it said that like, this would be enough, but it was not enough. <laughs> like. And everything else is measured out, right? I don't know, maybe the water was a little bit too much, I don't know. No idea. I thought we'd measured everything properly. Yeah, but I mean, but that gave us like some like left over as well, and we added what was left, and it still wasn't enough. No. But, but anyway, it's in here now, and um, we have to just let that sit in the bowl. Clean. So you cleared out the bowl, we so made the dough on the side, and then we added flour into this bowl. Um, I guess just so it doesn't stick I'd imagine yeah. and you just pop it in there and I think it's leave it for about 10 minutes um, for it to rise up and then I think after that whilst what that's do we do? doing you've got to do the time to get cinnamon. the filling ready yeah we've got to do the filling now so it is time to get your filling ready put the brown sugar cinnamon and softened butter into a bowl mix well um, I ended up using my hands just to get that spreadable consistency I was looking for Whoever made that, done that. So we're going to do that. As for amounts with the filling, uh, we're going to be using two cups of brown sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and one cup of softened butter. So, oh, Alex is spilling it everywhere. The filling is pretty much done. Mm, I'm going to try it. <laughs> oh. oh, it's like oh, the face of a child. The amount of bowls that oh. this boy has used is unbelievable. I've washed up about six All times. All the great chefs and bakers have their own pot wash. Yeah, basically me. This was not what I signed up for. I thought I was going to be baking too, but instead I've been supervising and bloody washing up. Hey, you have to supervise the cake mix whilst they shot down the shop. Yeah, I literally did. <laughs> so it goes like a sort of like paste. Yeah. Like a spread. And the person said on there that they've done it by hand as well. Just to get like the more like sort of buttery like spread kind of. Do you realise I'll film in the bowl and not your face? <laughs> they look the same. <laughs> Wish they taste the same. Mmm, -mm, cinnamon. Now it's been sat for about ten minutes just to sort of expand and grow. Um, it says that we now have to roll it out into a, a long rectangle, and they say to make it a lot longer than it is wide. We'll I don't think our side's big enough for this. <laughs> Hang on, let me get the other chopping board. Oh yeah, I forgot we got that spare one now. I'm very confused at the minute. Very confused. Oh. Lemon limeade. Oh, there we go. But yeah, so we've basically got to do that. And then it says to... We've got to then put the spread that we've just... You, should, uh, you just saw us make. And spread across the whole thing before and you like roll it up so it's like a jelly roll and we were like what's a jelly roll this is like a cinnamon roll a yeah. swiss roll <laughs> a well i'm in american so yeah that's what we're giving a go now so the filling is being spreaded it spreaded oh the filling smells so good it's it's go on lather it on there lather lather 
Lava the buns. Right, you posh turd. Go on, slap it. <laughs> what are you doing? Use a knife, you weirdo. This works fine. All right, you straight. You're cack handed though. No, it's because it's like you know, the counters mm, there. Mm, 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 mm. I'm right handed and the counters <laughs> in the way. Oh, that's why it sucks to be a right hander. Lefties for the win. Right, we're now trying to roll it up like a, like a jelly roll, aka Swiss roll, aka oh, other cakes that fun. look like that. Um, and then it got a bit complicated about where to cut it and that, as you probably heard, we were getting a bit confused. Uh, we checked the restart, inks literally just roll it up and just cut it into just a few cut bits. It into like, as many bits as you want, basically. I mean, it's still going to be the same thing, isn't it? This is going to take a minute, so we'll be back when all this is rolled up. Right, so that was so difficult, rolling that up. Like, the dough wasn't like that wet, but it just seemed to be really wet and gloopy. Um, but it's all like in the tray. That looks like, it looks like a bloody lasagna right now. <laughs> but I did see like other people's pictures and it did just look like a, like a load of blobbage mm. in a bowl. We have to like driz uh, drizzle some like melted butter over it now. Cause you know, it's not like it's wet enough. <laughs> um, but like you can kind of see like that's going to be on there. That one like, looks like as well. And like people's finished things look good and it's just like a sort of pull and share kind of thing. Mm. So it might be alright. And then the leftover dough we just kind of just plonked on a tray. She did say like, on her like bits. on the recipe that that's what she did. Yeah. Like, I mean everything smells good. Everything that we've tasted so far is amazing. I just We just kind of got to hope that it cooks nicely really. <laughs> I need some blooming lunch. I feel like Definitely, I need a yeah. lunchtime beer. Right, it's been about 30 minutes, so we've allowed it to rise, and now we're popping it in the oven. No one bakes like Gaston. Makes weird cinnamon cakes like Gaston. <laughs> yeah, um, and then, and then while they're point. baking, we have got to get a couple saucepans out and make the toppings. <laughs> so we're just making the uh, cream cheese frosting. <laughs> Ree's laughing because it says an eight ounce pack of cream cheese and she was like oh we need to know what like what eight ounce in grams is i was like oh ask oh, siri and i was like siri what's eight ounce in um pounds and then we were like oh no that's not what we need and i was like hey siri what's eight ounce in pounds <laughs> and I, just asked them, I just asked them the same thing <laughs> the oh no siri's actually talking oh no oh. but yeah we're making that anyway and um so we've got to do the cream cheese and the butter which is quarter cup, and then melt them together. After that, I don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, 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 uh. Stuff. And then after that, we have to add the powdered sugar and stir. And then once incorporated, add the vanilla and salt. And then we just got to put that aside. And then move on to the next one, which would be like the butterscotch topping, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> so I've just opened up the whipping cream. And obviously, as everyone in the world pretty much knows, that is whipping cream. <laughs> I open it up, and what is it you said? Is it not? She says, is it not meant to be whipped? <laughs> I don't eat cream. <laughs> I don't eat any kind Why of cream. Why would you just have a tub of whipping cream? I don't know. Like, already whipped. Well, because you don't have to whip it. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's effort, mate. Buy it with. <laughs> what, like a squirty can, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Bloody yeah. hell. Right, so we've got our cream frosting made up. We've got our butterscotch topping. Both went pretty well. Yeah, that was probably They're pretty the easy. That went <laughs> like, and it's, it looks really good. Now it's like sat and set a bit, like. Sat and set. Sat and set. Looks pretty good. And oh, Reese just. Oh, I'm going, I'm going around me, bloody hell. <laughs> Marie's just taking the thing out of the oven and it looks all right. Like it looks a little bit like different because I think where we've done gluten free flour as well, I think it hasn't like, I don't know what the word is. It's not as structured as I think it would be um, with like just normal flour, yeah. but it smelt good still. And we've only got like 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes now before it comes out yeah. and it should be done. So. We'll see what it comes out like, and I mean, we're still gonna eat it anyway. 
Yeah, it doesn't taste fine, it just doesn't look anything like yeah. a cinnamon roll. <laughs> There's many things that don't look great but taste amazing, so I think it hopefully it'll be one of those. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know I was filming you? Yeah. Oh, look at that, roast dinner. <laughs> Let's see how our lasagna's getting on. Oh, a few moments later. Back in the oven Back in it go. goes. Probably for like another five minutes, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, we'll try it for another five. It, look, it looks pretty messed up. It looks fine. Like, it looks, like, it looks nice, but it doesn't look how it's meant to look. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, we're going to whack that in for like another five and then see how it is then. Right, it's finally finished. And I mean... <laughs> It's like... Let's get the picture up. It's gone up like a giant loaf cake. Obviously these are the ones from Disney that you're going to see the picture, so it's different. They are still so different. Like, obviously we've got to cut it, but it's just a big, big loaf. We're not going to put all of this on. They literally made so much for the recipe. But Alex, I'm sure, will just dip it in. Oh, I expect so. Look at that. Yeah, it's bubbling. You're just going to get a little bit more in the middle. That's like food porn. Oh, my mum's saying. Right, now we're going to get like, the butterscotch stuff on it and then um, cut a bit. This, obviously, like in this inside, you'd expect it to be like really like light and fluffy, being a cinnamon bun, but it's just a cake, isn't it? We've just made a massive cinnamon cake. It's, it's more like a. But because it's gluten free, it's just a bit. You can tell. Like, you can definitely tell it. we've had gluten-free flour. I don't know what you're going to do with that. That's half a tub of sauce there. <laughs> and I don't even know. I won't even eat it because it's got cream. That's right. We can just dunk it. But, I mean, I like it. But it's not It's not what we set out to make. <laughs> when it's what we make, ever what we set out to make, ever. Oh, that's true. But, there it is. So that didn't really go to plan, did it? Are you like, guys surprised? Because we are not. <laughs> not at all. Like, I mean, it tastes pretty nice, but it doesn't taste like a cinnamon bun. It tastes like a cinnamon, like, cake. It's not my cup of tea. I don't know whether it's because it's gluten-free or... I don't know. It's just not my thing. I love cinnamon buns, but I think because it's so cakey and the sauce on top is cream cheesy, and I don't like cream cheese, mm -hmm. but, like, I kind of just thought it was going to be a cinnamon bun, and... It's not. Not really, no. But we did. I did look up as well, and it, I think the gluten-free flour did kind of ruin it a bit. Because mm. it did say that we couldn't really use that. But it's all we had, so we had to give it a go. We tried. <laughs> Which we done. Alex, and it's now sat in the back. Yeah, Alex and his mum both like it, so we'll get eaten. Um, yeah. It's fine. Definitely, um, yeah. My mum really likes the sauce and that on top as well, so. Yeah. So and like, it's, it's, it's going to be really nice to go with like, ice cream. It's not going to go to waste. The guys will eat it. I will probably just stick to banana bread. <laughs> or just have a little bit. But this is going to be the end of the video. Yeah. So if you have liked it, hit the thumbs up and smash the subscribe down below. And we'll see you real soon for the next video. Bye!